Here's one interesting way to look at it. If every cast without a fish is a failure, an angler that knows he's in the right area could have 10,000 casts to one trophy. And an angler who doesn't could have a lifetime of cast with only one trophy. Another episode of Next Level Fishing TV starts right about now. One lure today, guys. That's all you really need. It's all about how you work it. Some of the new technology that we are using this year are really beginning to pay off. One in particular, the Hummingbird G2 SI. In case you haven't heard, side imaging is the real deal. I'm out here with my friend Chris today. You know, I'm sort of excited to kind of show him, you know, how powerful this tool is. Uh, obviously, he's in an unfamiliar area, so he really is sort of going to this trip with me blindly. But I think it'll just be real cool for him to sort of see the difference in how much I'm, I'm actually dissecting the ground, and, and he'll be able to kind of get an appreciation for some of that technology that's out there. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. You. He's swimming towards me. Yeah? Yep. Don't come towards me. Look at that, look at that. Yes, Chris. That was with the Paul Brown? That was with the Paul Brown. Come to daddy. Don't break my heart. <laughs> Woo! Nice, it's a good one. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this has something huge in its belly. Yeah? Yeah, like... That's a nice Let's see here. Fatty. Oh, man. Swallowed, Mr. Brown. Oh wow, you're not gonna believe this. That is a huge mullet. Oh. So the mullet is turned sideways in his belly? Yes. And the tail is sticking out of his oh. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna say 23. No. No? No. 20 and three quarters. 20 and three quarters, yeah. nice. But a fatty. Yes. A fat 20, that's for sure. All right, it's your turn. No pressure. <laughs> Picking up on trout patterns is one key to success. Take a good weight fisherman, for example. That angler will typically work from ankle deep water all the way up to his chest. And what he or she is trying to figure out is where exactly these trout are based off of recent weather patterns. And a kayak angler will do the same thing, but he does have a slight advantage by being able to cover more ground and not losing the stealthy factor. Oh man, that was a big one. Yeah? Right here. 
Ah, that was a good one. I think they're right, they may be right here on this point. Yeah. There's some grass all right there. How deep is it here, Chris? It's a couple feet, Two. but um, there's a little divot yeah. just in front of us, so it might go down to three, four foot right there. And then this tall ground's probably not the bait for this area. It is that shallow, you think? Our friend Chris is having a great day on the water, and he's caught his personal best trout. So it's a success. But as far as the trophy fish go, well, we just could not find them today. But what we did find was consistency. And to our surprise, with 60 degree water temperatures, these trout are still hunkering very, very shallow. Stick with the bait, and you will stick with the trout. And if you're wondering what kind of bait that we're encountering, it's a plethora of mullet. That's, um... About a 20, 23. Super healthy, man. Beautiful trout. Um, just an amazing creature. Love to catch him. I'm gonna continue to throw this lure and see if I can't get into a big one. So let's take a look at today's haul. The hunt for a gator continues. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Did you get an official measurement on your big one? Yeah, it was, uh, what was it, 21 and uh, and a half, almost 22.